Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco channel. So in this video, I'm going to show how to add a heat vision alarm device, a detector as well as a sounder inside the heat vision AX hybrid pro. So in this video, the device I'm going to use is this uh, AX hybrid pro panel, the wire arming tool which is a keypad, and the wire uh, output expander. This one is to connect with this uh, wire auto siren. So as well as this uh, wire input expander, and this one will be connected to this uh, wire PIR detector as well as a wire magnetic component. So also we're going to use this wire panic button which is connected to the AX Hybrid Pro panel. And also we are going to use the wireless receiver to connect to connect with this uh, wireless outdoor siren as well as a wireless PIR detector. So next I'm going to show how to do the wiring. Okay, so comes with the wiring part. So firstly, I will show how to do a wiring part for this AX Hybrid Pro panel to the wire arming tools. Let's look at the wire arming tools. As you can see, there is a D- minus and D plus over here, which is the white blue color and the blue color wire. So these two will be connected to the AX Hybrid Pro panel under this D- minus and D plus. So secondly, let's go up to the wire arming tool again. So here you can see there's a 12V in and a GND uh, port which is connected to the brown color wire as well as a white blue color wire. So as these two will be connected to the AX hybrid board panel under the comb and the AUX. So the comb here will be connected to the white blue, white brown color and the brown color will be connected to the AUX. I will show how to do a wiring part for the AX hybrid port panel to the wire output expander. Okay, so it comes to the wire output expander. So as you can see over here, it will have a DC in. So this DC in, the plus and the minus will be connect to the power supply or the power adapter. For the 485 in, which is this D plus and the D minus, the green color and the white green color. So this one will be connected to the AX Pro Hybrid Panel uh, for the IN, uh, D plus and the D minus. And so for this video, um, we are going to connect the outdoor siren to the output expander with a channel tree, which is a zone tree. So we will use the NO tree as well as a COM tree over here. So for the NO tree, will be connected to the power supply or the power adapter with a negative wire and for the comb tray will be connect to the outdoor siren with a negative wire and so for the siren positive wire will be connect to the power adapter okay so in this part i will show how to do a wire input expander wiring to the wire PRR detector as well as a wire main so firstly, let's go to the wire PRR detector. So in here, I'm using a single end of line wiring. So over here, I'm, you can see over a temper EOL there, which, which is here have a white green color line. So this one will be connected to the wire input extender under the comb over here. So for the green color part, which is over here, the alarm EOL side, will be connected to the zone one. So I'm using the wire PR detector as a zone 1 so for this uh, plus and minus which is a white white brown color and the brown color will be connect to the e AUX over here a plus and a minus this is how about uh, how to do a wiring PR detector with this input extender so let's come with this uh, wire magnetic contact so inside wire, wire magnetic contact will have a two line, we have two wire, so one is a NC and one is a COM. So here I'm using the wire magnetic contact as a zone two, so which you can connect both wire into the zone two, which is a Z2 and a COM. Okay, so this is all about the wire magnetic contact part. So let's go back with this wire input expander. So inside here, you can see here is the DC in also. So the DC in is for to connect to the power supply as well or the power adapter. 
and the blue color side which is you can see over here you have a 485 in so this one is a D minus and D plus also connect to the AX hybrid port panel under the D minus and D plus so this is how we do the wire input expander to this uh, wire PIR detector as well as a wire magnetic contact so in next we, in next part I will show how to do a wire uh, panic button to the AX Hybrid Pro panel so in this part I will show how to do a wire panic button to the AX Hybrid Pro panel so over here you can see here is a COM and as well as an NOR so these two which is the white orange color and the orange color the COM side which is the white orange color will be connect to the uh, COM and for the orange color will be connect to the zone 1 I'm using the wire panic button as a zone 1 for the AX hybrid pro panel so this is how to do the wiring with this a uh, wire panic button to the AX hybrid pro panel so next I will show how to do a wireless receiver wiring to this AX hybrid pro panel so next we'll come to the wireless receiver part so in this part you can see here is the DC in which is a plus and a minus so this one will be connected to the power supply or a power adapter and for the bus area the D minus and the D plus will be connected to the AX Hyper Pro D minus and D plus so the virus receiver is used to connect with the virus indoor siren as well as the virus PR detector So this is all about the wiring part for the wireless receiver. So next I will show how to do the configuration as well as add the AX Happy Pro device. So after successfully add the heat connect services inside the web configuration, so you can come to the heat connect here. So over here, click on the app device and you can scan the QR code or using a manual adding or online devices. So for now, I will use the online device. So inside here, find your device, which is this one, and I will add a device to the heat connect server. So I will add, and here I click OK. So here I need to input the device verification code, which is just now have set inside the web configuration. So after enter, click OK. Then we show adding complete. So click next, then click on save then click on skip so over here you have successfully added the AX Hybrid Pro panel so for now I will show how to add a wire PIR detector as well as a wire magnetic contact inside so click on the AX Hybrid Pro panel over here then click on the device as you can see over here it has been added with this keypad the output expander the tri x receiver which is the virus receiver and also the input expander so this one is automatic at one as you have been configured we have been wiring the those devices inside the ax4 hybrid ax4 panel so to add with this viral pr detector click on the input expander as we are added inside the input expander then click on the add device so the device type will be detector and the channel number as I have set the channel number for this uh, wire PIR detector to zone 1 inside this wire input expander so I will select a channel number 1 then click on the add so for now you have successfully added the zone 1 so over here you can see the detection type is PIR which is the passive infrared device detector so uh, over here uh, for the wiring mode, you need to change to the SEOL, means it is the single and offline wiring. Then we have successfully added the PIR detector. So next, I will add it with the wired magnetic contact. So also over here, click on the add. And the device type, click on the detector. And the channel number, I will select to 2. I wiring this wired magnetic contact to the zone 2 of this wired input expander. So after that, I click on add button. So over here, you have successfully added a zone 2, but you need to change the detector type from the PIR to the door magnetic contact. 
then we have successfully added a viral magnetic contact. So over here, I will add a viral panic button which is connected to the AX Hybrid Pro pen. So you can go to the AX Hybrid Pro under the device here. So you click on the add and you click on the add wired device. The detection type will be the detector and the channel number as I have set this to the zone 1. So it will be zone 1. So for now, you have successfully added the wire panic button. So I also need to change the detection type to the panic button. Then the alarm will be triggered, so we close it. So for now, I have successfully added the panic button. So now I will add this wire outdoor siren. So you can add it inside this output expander one. So inside here, you can add the device. And the device type will be automation and the channel number i will select to 3 as i have added it inside the number the zone 3 inside this wire output expander so after that click on the add button okay so over here i will set the scenario setting i will add another one which is a link the event with the alarm so the event subtype i will select all and the linked zone, you can select up to anything, which is this one is the detector. So currently, I will select all. So I will click on the save button. So now you have successfully added the event for this uh, outdoor siren. So for now, I will add a virus outdoor siren. So also the same, click on the add button and click on the add virus device. Then scan the QR code. Then select the module and then power on. Then you have successfully added the solder. So for now, I will show the demonstration part about how to trigger the alarm for these devices. Okay, so for now, I will show how to add a virus detector or a siren. So firstly, I will add a virus detector first. So by clicking the add button over here, and click on the add virus device and then scan the QR code inside the bag so the module I will select this TriX receiver and for here I will uh, based on the procedure to add the device so now I have added the device then next I will add the outdoor siren okay so for now I will add the virus outdoor siren so also the same, click on the add button and click on add virus device then scan the QR code select the module and then power on then you have successfully added the solder so for now I have successfully added the old device but now I want to uh, change the virus VR detector as well as the outdoor siren to the area 2. So I will do it with I uh, clicking on the try X receiver here. I click on the setting and I click the link area to select all the area. So for now the try X receiver has been supported with area 1 and area 2. And then I will go to the PIR detector which is the virus one and then I click on the setting and the link area so for now I can change to area 2 after I change it and another one will be changed to the solder so also the same I change the link area from area 1 to area 2 so for now I've done all the configuration so next I will show how to do the demonstration for how to trigger for the each of the detector as well as how the outdoor silence will be looks like okay so comes to the demonstration part firstly I will uh, arm the area 1 and area 2 together which I will see the PIR detector from both sides will able to trigger the alarm lock. so let's go so as you can see 
when I'm working on it and then the both of the wire PR detector as well as the wireless PR detector which is in area 1 and area 2 both are triggering the alarm for now I want to check with the other device so firstly I will disable for this both of the um, PIR detector so currently I will set this for the stay arm bypass so which you setting with this uh, stay arming it will not able to trigger the alarm so just like I configure the wireless part so for now is the wire is the wired one okay so I will check this one and now I'm triggering again which is both area and then for now I will remove the magnetic contact so as you can see if I remove the magnetic contact it will trigger the alarm and also for now I will click on the wire panic button which it will also will be trigger the alarm so to disarm the alarm you can click on this one then the alarm will be disarmed so this all for the demonstration part okay so comes to the demonstration part firstly I will uh, arm the area 1 and area 2 together which I will see the PIR detector for both sides will be able to trigger the alarm block. so let's go so as you can see when I'm working on it and then the both of the wire PIR detector as well as the wireless PIR detector which is in area 1 and area 2 both are triggering the alarm. Okay, so for now I want to check with the other device. So firstly I will disable for this both of the um, PIR detector. So currently I will set this for the stay up by part. So which you setting with this uh, stay army it will not able to trigger the alarm. So just now I configure the wireless part. So for so now it's the wire is the wire part. Okay, so I will check this one. And now I'm triggering again, which is both area. And then for now I will remove the magnetic core. So as you can see, if I remove the magnetic contact, it will trigger the alarm. And also for now, I will click on the wire panic button, which it will also will be triggered the alarm. Then the alarm will be disarmed. So this is the end of the video of how to do a wiring as well as doing the configuration with this AX Hybrid Pro. So thank you for watching and I see you again. Visco.